In a world of dark headlines and a 24-7 news cycle, B'nai Baruch is working to bring light into the media. The international Kabbalah group publishes articles and broadcast lessons from their studio in Petah Tikva, Israel, focusing on positive Kabbalistic content. People are getting really, really tired of all the negative news. They're getting tired of all the, the bad things you see all around you. So they're looking for, for you know, content that will lift them up and make them feel you know, happier and not just that they've gotten all this poison into themselves. So, so we're really seeing a big transition everywhere where people are looking for positive, uplifting content, which we have a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> in Petah Tikva, this is actually the world headquarters of um, the entire organization. We have branches all around the world. And from here, we broadcast um, three hours every morning live, broadcasted to the entire world, translated to like 16 different languages. In addition, throughout the day, we have different uh, TV shows and recordings here, so probably another two hours a day, probably about four, five, six hours every day of live content going out to the entire world. While getting the word out seems natural for a group that preaches connecting humans, it goes against classic Kabbalah thought. Traditionally, the spiritual learning was reserved for men over 40 years old. However, B'nai Baruch founder Dr. Michael Lightman decided that doesn't work in today's age. We are modern people. We understand the world and we are not isolated. We want to publish this because we think that the wisdom of the Kabbalah can contribute to humanity. We opened our own TV station. We didn't turn to other existing outlets. We made it ourselves. We broadcast it for 10 years and then we shut down and moved to the internet because everyone else moved to the net. Today, one of B'nai Baruch's main publications is KabU. The online learning center provides VOD content recorded in studios from around the globe. The organization hopes the widely available lessons will attract more people to getting involved in the organization. Every day we come here and we think about how we can bring the science of connection to the whole world. We think about what courses we can create that, that basically teach people about our interconnected nature, about our human potential and we think of what articles we can write, you know, that convey that. Kabbalah practices may go back to the 13th century, but B'nai Baruch is bringing it into the future. Shelby Weiner, I-24 News.